All right, how we doing, folks? It's your boy Marcos kicking it off here. Tight Tuesday. Y'all new to the uh, new to the channel. Basically, on Tight Tuesday, I try to bring you some close gameplay. You know, gameplay that comes down to the wire, that nail biter type of stuff. And we're doing some sharpshooter here. Uh, I'm not the best sharpshooter player. I really like it, though. Uh, Black Ops 1, I was a big fan of gun game. I, I enjoyed doing gun game. Me and my friends would always hop in there, do some gun game, do crazy. In this game, I don't know. I'm just not that. I'm not feeling gun game as much. It's got direct impacts. That's 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 uh, good for him. Um, but I'm just not. I'm not feeling gun game that much this game. I'm not sure why. Maybe it's just I haven't played it enough. Um, but I really enjoy sharpshooter. And I enjoy sharpshooter because I think it really puts down people to to an even playing field. Uh, about as even as you you're gonna get. Free for all does that as well. Uh, and you get more options of what you want to do. Yeah, I was gonna I was gonna war machine him, but then I got switched over to the attack 45s. But you know, free for all and the spawns are crazy in sharpshooter too, but I feel like they're even crazier in free for all. So I, I prefer sharpshooter. I also prefer because you're on the same level, you know, you both got normally it's ridiculous stuff. I mean you already saw we start off with a war machine, start off like dual attack 45s. There's no way hell I'd ever use this. So I would recommend I would recommend sharpshooter for two reasons. Uh, one, to have fun, which is kind of why you should be playing this game to begin with. If you're not having fun with this game, then you should go play something else, like Goldeneye or Mega Man. Uh, I put down those annotations below so you can watch me play that. Uh, hey, shameless plug, man! It's my channel, man. I gotta plug it. Uh, but if you, if you want to have some fun, you should play sharpshooter. If you want to level up, this is a good way to level up. Um, now I already prestiged all the way, so I'm straight on that. But, you know, if you just recently prestige, it's a good way to do it. You're going to get all those reticles and all that stuff just coming off these guns, especially off guns that you normally don't use. So I'd recommend it for that. And I also recommend that you bring a couple of friends along. I think I'm going solo here. I normally like to start off my day with a game of sharpshooter, one or two games of sharpshooter. But, you know, bring up a couple of friends along. It would be ridiculous. You know, when, once you bump into each other with, like, a, a thermal band sniper or something and none of you guys know how to use that, you, you'll have some good times there. So it's a pretty close game here. As far as strategies go for sharpshooter, uh, the first strategy I'm going to tell you is be proficient with all weapons. Uh, so play it. Yeah, that's basically what you got to do. You got to play it often so you can know how to use a dual executioner, which is definitely not one of my fortes. Oh, man. I do better with one executioner than two, I'll tell you that. Um, I mean, what you should do with the dual execution is you just shoot one and save the other bullets, you know, as a last resort. I shoot them both at the same time. I think most people do that just out of instinct. They give you two guns, you just shoot them anyway. It's kind of it's kind of how you, you're you brought up to do uh, by movies and whatnot. This guy's going to pop me here. I thought he was further along. One thing I really don't like about this, though, is the radar. That is one big no-no for this and also for gun game. These maps are already small enough, man. I, I'm going to find somebody. I don't need those red dots telling me where exactly they are. Because it kind of ruins when I'm trying to put a good move on somebody. It really ruins that. You know, I'm trying to give him the, the shake and bake, the okie doke, put a little English on it. And he just looks at the radar and sees me. So it's not that much fun. Uh, let me tell you about this spawn right here, though. This is the place to hold down. And this is what I'm going to tell you about strategies and sharpshooter. You got to find a spawn where you're modestly safe at. You know, where you got a couple head glitches on each side. And it allows you to go into and look other into other spawns. So here I see the tractor spawn. And I see the spawn behind me. Now, you got to be careful, but that's why they got the radar there so you can see it. This guy just stopped moving. No, sir. You can push up to the tank. You can play around here, but all staying in this general area. I guess you would call it camping. I don't really care. Uh, I call it winning a sharpshooter. Because if you're just going to keep running around from one spawn to another, you're bound to just get somebody spawn behind you and get clapped. So you want to keep it in a general area where you feel comfortable at and where there's at least one or two other spawns. Uh, this is best shown right here where I was in... Uh, and that corner over there with the hay, uh, also a hijack if you stay on one of the backs of the boats. That's also a nice place to do it. And there's a couple of maps where you can pull that off, especially with sharpshooter. But look at this. I mean, I'm killing the same dude and the same, not the same dudes, different dudes, but the same people in the same places right there. What do you want me to do? It's called playing sharpshooter. See, they keep coming. I keep popping them. Get that merciless. Going to hide inside over here. Reload. I mean, this execution, man. I'm not big friends. Reloaded too. Put, ducked out. And then I'm like, hold up. I need some more time to reload, man. Got to hop outside over here. Still overlooking the same spot. Different areas. You can change. You can move around. You don't got to stay in the same. I'm not telling you to stay in the same pile of hay the whole game. Just make sure that you could see both spawns and play it safe from there. Because if not, you just get sandwiched and you're going to get demolished. And it's just part of the game. Just to come down here, sneak over there. And this way you can also stay alive longer, as you can see right here. And you can double up those points, which is really what it comes down to. That double up points in that last gun 
where you could get, you know, the, the, I mean, you get, you get four, no, you got 20 points for every kill. It's like you double down. That's where the game's made, yo. That's why, I, that's why I managed to pull out this game right here. Just clutched it out right here with his last kill, and now I think, yo, I get him too. All right, there we go. And then, boom, clutched that one out. All right, man. Coming up over here close to the end. I'm going to throw some annotations below for last week's Tight Tuesday, all this good stuff. Hope y'all enjoy the video. 25 and 13. I mean, it's nothing crazy. It's almost a 2KD, though, on Sharpshooter with all the madness. I'll take it. Uh, hope everybody loved the video, man. I'm really having some good time making these. Appreciate all the feedback. Uh, leave some comments down below. Y'all have a good one.